The figure eight exercise is essentially the same as the heel on leash exercise with the addition of you and your dog as a team negotiating two cones or a similar object. These cones should be placed about eight feet, actually they should be placed eight feet apart. When starting this exercise, have your dog in heel position midway between the two cones facing the judge. But don't stress this position too much because the first sit in any exercise is not scored, but of course it is always good to practice and ensure that your dog is sitting straight. Next, the judge will ask you, are you ready? When you're ready, respond with ready or yes or nod of the head or something similar. After you've indicated you're ready, the judge will tell you forward. At this point, you'll start to heel with your dog around the cones. As the handler, you get to choose which direction you wanna go first. However, I recommend going left, as many judges will wait to give the halt command after you've gone around the right cone. Meaning, if you choose to go right first, you'll have to go around the right, then the left, then the right, and then you'll do the halt. If you go left, you'll go around the left, then the right, and then you'll be told to halt. So you'll have less of a chance to lose points if you choose to go left. You'll wanna ensure that you're walking at a normal pace the entire time around and between each cone twice in a figure eight pattern. The judge will order a halt during the exercise and one at the end of the exercise. You'll never hear a judge order an about turn or slow face or fast pace during the figure eight. It's your choice to give a signal or command to begin the healing at the beginning and after the first halt. Any additional commands will be scored. Just keep in mind that you can receive a non-qualifying score if you're giving your dog too many additional commands. The judge will determine if the additional commands shows that you lack control of your dog. Also, try not to worry about the movement from the judge. This gets a lot of people. The judge is required to review the dog's position and the dog's performance of the exercises in order to better determine the accuracy of the dog's healing and halts. Just like we discussed in the healing exercise, Minor or major deductions will be made for any lagging, healing wide, poor sits, forging, crowding, or failure to sit at the halt or any other healing imperfections. Deductions are not just for the dog. Handlers who guide the dog with the leash can get points deducted for tightening or jerking on the leash or for not walking at a brisk pace. Your dog should always be adapting to your movements as a handler and not the other way around. If the judge perceives that you're adapting to your dog, you could receive a non-qualifying score. The point of the exercise where this is most closely looked at is during the turns around the cones. On the inside turn, the dog must slow down in order to maintain heel position. And on the outside turn, the dog will have to speed up to maintain heel position. Just make sure that you're always paying attention to the judge's orders because you and your dog should not start before you're ordered by the judge. This includes waiting for the judge to say exercise finish before releasing your dog. I'll post a link in the description to the obedience regulations where you can take a closer look. It'll be section five, which covers the figure eight exercise. If you wanna practice the entire routine for the heel on leash and figure eight portion, I would recommend having a friend or family member play the role of the judge walking you through the routine so your dog gets used to this picture. Having someone call you through a pattern is much different to the dog than training the routine without someone calling you through. This will help you properly prepare for the competition. I'll make sure I have an example pattern written out in the description of this video. Heel. For the first exercise, I'm gonna start with doing two double about turns. This is something that I learned from Tom Rose at the Tom Rose School. In fact, I do have another video on teaching the figure eight instructed by Tom Rose himself. I would definitely recommend checking that out. This is an excellent exercise. You can do it with a lure. You can also do it with leash pressure. With Ari in this video, I'm going to be using both techniques to show how it should look. Now, Ari is lagging as well as foraging a few times while doing this exercise. It is difficult, and it's something that I'm gonna have to continue to work on myself in order to sharpen Ari's obedience while doing this exercise. But let's go ahead and get started. Good. Free. Very nice. Down, sit. Good. Heel. 
As you can see, the concept behind this exercise is to teach the dog that when we start to turn left, whether it's a left about turn or we're going around a cone for the figure eight portion of the healing exercise, our dog needs to slow down. And you can see when we turn right, our dog has to increase speed. This exercise really helps them understand that concept and it transfers over very nicely to the figure eight that we're gonna need to perform for the AKC novice. Very good. Very good, Ari. Heel. Free. Good girl. Heel. As I come around the first cone, I'm gonna do that pivot in place exercise that Tom Rose teaches. Again, this is showing Ari that when I go around the left object, there is a possibility that I'm going to pivot in place, which is going to make her more aware and focused on what I'm doing, which will get her to slow down when we go around the left object. Very good, free. Excellent, nice job. Nice job, my Ari. Heel. Good. Excellent, nice. Ari, heel. Heel. Now I'm gonna go around the right object again and I'm going to pivot in place. You'll also see that Ari's having a good time. This is a fun exercise if we take our time with it and we don't expect too much from our dogs too quickly. We need to have fun because if we're having fun, our dogs are going to have fun. Good. Heel. Free. Excellent. Nice work. And now I'm going to go through the exercise as though Ari, I was being heel. called through by a judge during the AKC novice routine. Of course, no one's calling me heel. through, but it would be forward. And then they would give you a halt. And then they would give you forward. And then one more halt. Exercise finished. Heel. Next week, we'll be working on the stand for examination for the AKC novice routine. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about it, or if you have any questions, place those in the comments below. If you want one-on-one -on -one help, I do offer in-person lessons as well as Zoom training sessions. If you want to support the channel, you can by liking, subscribing, sharing these videos, hitting that notification bell, or becoming a patron. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support, and I will see you in next week's video.